the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Grace of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with all of you. And with her spirit. And welcome as we celebrate the memory of Saint François de Laval, the first Bishop of Quebec. And this Mass is offered this morning by John Fernandez, his daughter Julianne, and grandchildren Gabriela and Alexandria, in memory of Eldathina Fernandez. So as we begin the celebration of this Easter season, let's call to mind our sin and ask the Lord pardon and peace. Lord Jesus, you were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you bring pardon and peace to the sinner. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. And Lord Jesus, you plead for us at the right hand of the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us all, forgive us our sins, and bring us all to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, eternal shepherd of the faithful, who sent blessed Saint Francois de Laval as bishop to extend the dominion of Christ to the people of Canada, grant through his intercession that we may strive always to keep and to put into practice the faith which with unquenchable zeal he strove to proclaim. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the second letter of St. Paul the Apostle to Timothy. In the presence of God and of Christ Jesus, who is to judge the living and the dead, and in view of his appearing and his kingdom, I solemnly urge you, proclaim the message. Be persistent whether the time is favorable or unfavorable. Convince, rebuke, and encourage with the utmost patience in teaching. For the time is coming when people will not put up with sound doctrine, but having itching ears, they will accumulate for themselves teachers to suit their own desires, and will turn away from listening to the truth and wander away to myths. As for you, always be sober, endure suffering, do the work of an evangelist. Carry out your ministry fully. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. I know my sheep, I 
be with you and with your spirit a reading from the holy gospel according to john glory to you o lord jesus said to the pharisees i am the good shepherd the good shepherd lays down his life for the sheep the hired hand who is not the shepherd and does not own the sheep sees the wolf coming and leaves the sheep and runs away and the wolf snatches them and scatters them the hired hand runs away because a hired hand does not care for the sheep. I am the good shepherd. I know my own and my own know me, just as the Father knows me and I know the Father. And I lay down my life for the sheep. I have other sheep that do not belong to this fold. I must bring them also and they will listen to my voice. So there will be one flock and one shepherd. Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. This morning, the readings we have in Canada, which compare to the American lectionary, are very apt because we're celebrating the life of Saint Francois de Laval, first bishop of Quebec, and his patron also of the Canadian bishops. And the first reading taken from Paul to Timothy is also quite contemporary, not only for the his days, but for us as well. For when Paul says this, and if you listen carefully to the first reading, the letter, Paul says, proclaim the message and be persistent whether the time is favorable or unfavorable, because the time is coming when people everywhere will not put up with true doctrine, and will instead accumulate for themselves teachers that suit their own desires. How appropriate is that for today? How contemporary is that statement? Many have left the fold in our own time and have turned away to follow the gurus that, thought, that they thought would give them the meaning to life. Jesus is the meaning to life. We, as Jesus says in the gospel, must be the good shepherds of today as well, not just the priests, not the, the sisters, not the catechists, parents, all of us. We are called to gather the people of God by the way we live and act. All of us through baptism have been called to preach the good news in good times, as Paul says, and in bad times in favorable times and in unfavorable times. And not so much through catechetics, although that is very important and the catech those who teach catechetics are very, very good at it for the young adults as well as for our young children. It's very necessary as they begin their sacramental journey in the Catholic Church. But by the way we ourselves lead our lives, they will know that we are Christians they will know us by our love, as Jesus says in John's Gospel. They will know us by our love. So a good example of that love is Saint François de Laval. And if you ever read a history of Saint François de Laval, he was an incredible man, incredible man. First Bishop of Quebec, the entire province of Quebec, who cared for the flock in what was called then New France, La Nouvelle France. So may we celebrate him today. May we follow him in the way that he catechized through the way he lived, how he said it, and how he acted upon it. Amen.
Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, our Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Look with favor, O Lord, we pray, on the offerings we set upon the sacred altar on this feast day of Saint Francois de Laval, that bestowing on us your pardon, our offerings may give honor to your name. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord, for as on the festival of Saint Francois de Laval, you bid your church rejoice, so too you strengthen her by the example of his holy life, teach her by his words of preaching, and keep her safe in answer to his prayers. And so of the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise, as without end we acclaim together. indeed holy O Lord the fount of all holiness make holy therefore these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ at the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his own passion he took bread blessed it and broke it and gave it to his disciples saying take this all of you and eat of it for this is my body which will be given up for you In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that they held us, you held us worthy to to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and the blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, bring her to the fullness of love, together with Francis, our Pope, Christian, our Archbishop, Alain's Auxiliary, all the bishops with the clergy, the religious, and the entire faithful people of God. Remember also all our brothers and sisters who've fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, Today at this Eucharist, we pray especially for the repose of the soul in memory of Adelith, Adelfina Fernandez and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy in us all, we pray, with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, her spouse, the Blessed Apostles, all the saints, especially Patrick and Bridget, who pleased you throughout the ages. We may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. 
Through him and with him and in him, O God, almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we all dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our day, that by the help of your mercy we may be free from all sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, my peace I give you, my peace I leave you. Look not upon our sins, but upon the faith of your church. Graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us now offer peace to one another. Peace, my friends. Peace. Peace. <laughs> Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof. Only, only say the word, and, and my soul shall be healed. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and I unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
precious ore, and my cup is overflowing. O oh, Jesus, gentle shepherd, and Let us stand in prayer. Renewed by the sacred mysteries, we humbly pray, O Lord, that following the example of Saint Francois de Laval, we may strive to profess what he believed and to practice what he taught. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you richly, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Mass is ended. Let's all go in peace to love and serve the Lord and one another. Thanks be to God. And have a very good week.